back to Why in the Morning. Special thanks to Alex uh, for that informative and amazing interview. And shout out to that artist as well. If you keep up to I go by the name of Bayou Moses or it's Bayou Morning via social media platform. And it's always a pleasure. And this time round, I have the main man himself, the number one hype man in the country. But today is not about the hype. It's about something serious. He's in studio with me, Mr. DNG. Yes. Karibu sana. I'm excited to be with you, man. Good morning. Good morning. One be Gina, yeah, ID. Yes, we're talking about something official. David Son, Gibuini, Doma Gina, Kamili. That's why I shortened it to be DNG. DNG. You see that it happens everywhere. Go, Gibu. David Son, Gibuini. Hey, it's a tongue twister. Imagine DNG someone is a duty at DNG. Let's go with DNG. Come on, cut it, cut it. DNG, you've come a long way, man. Yeah, man. And now you're giving back to the community. Yes. Wow. You have an initiative called uh, Punguza. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Punguza is about sexual awareness. You're creating that sexual awareness. Correct. All right. What should sex be in an ideal world? I think sex should be first consensual. Mm -hmm. uh, sex should be safe. Mm -hmm. It should be responsible mm -hmm. within legal bearing, legal mm -hmm. age. It should be enjoyable mm -hmm. and fun. Enjoyable and fun? Yes. Even the Bible says it's a gift from God. Yeah. Enjoy it. All right. I think sometimes we take sex so seriously uh -huh. that we forget that it's supposed to be enjoyed. It's a gift uh -huh. and, you know, it, it's natural. All right. Natural order. Out of all these things you've said from consensual, uh, people of legal age, is this the reality on the ground? The only reality is the fun <laughs> and, the, and the enjoyment <laughs> happening. But yes, a, a lot of issues uh, mm -hmm. exist because of, of lack of you know, enjoying sex as it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, consensual sex mm -hmm. is, is mandatory, even mm -hmm. by law, by, mm -hmm. by natural order. Uh -huh. You cannot force yourself on somebody else. Mm -hmm. If somebody says no, it should be no. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, it should be safe, mm -hmm. where you shouldn't walk out of that sexual interaction feeling uh -huh. like, oh my God, now I'm sick, mm -hmm. now I have an unwanted pregnancy, mm -hmm. oh my God, now I'm attached to somebody that I never wanted to That be. is safety. That is safety, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, with safety comes responsibility. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're driving with the Pumuza mm -hmm. Initiative, encouraging young people as they're enjoying themselves, mm -hmm. as they're having fun, mm -hmm. to be responsible so that they can avoid all these issues okay. that are around sex. These conversations that you're having with the youth and the young yeah. people, did you have somebody to have them with you? To be honest, no, uh -huh. man. I think, you know, growing up in my day, uh, parents would never really talk to you about sex. In mm -hmm. fact, to all we were told, girls are bad, boys uh -huh. are bad uh -huh. for the ladies, uh -huh. and you go figure out what that means. What that bad is. For me, the, the threats were, <laughs> I remember once my mom, uh, you know, found me calling mm -hmm. a chick. Team from, light skin. Yeah, man, way, calling yeah. a chick uh -huh. in school. That time, I'm maybe like class five. Uh -huh. I've been given a number, then you're doing. Because it seems like, yeah, you know, from one apart, look on a tap that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and then when you go on the other side, so my mom, there was, a, there was so, so there was a, another line downstairs. Uh -huh. So, mother and ask, I really bust, mother. Who is this you're calling? Who gave you permission? Class five. Class five. So she uh -huh. came to school. I was uh -huh. so embarrassed, uh -huh. man. She called the head mistress. Uh -huh. That lady, that girl's parents were called. Nearly uh -huh. become bust. From that day, I've never talked to my mom about relationships. Never ever. And this and is not how until it's later in to. life when I'm an adult. Na uh -huh. na niko <laughs> and this is not how it's supposed. It's to not be. supposed to be that you cannot demonize sex you cannot right. demonize relationships because it's natural order right. even your body by the time you're going through adolescence tells it's giving you signals chief right. hey niki <laughs> poor <laughs> and you start experimenting and that's where right. the problems start mm -hmm. yes all right so uh in an in a in a in a different world dng is the parent uh, yeah, yeah, how yeah, would yeah. you handle such a situation it's crazy man like uh -huh. like i have a daughter uh -huh. six years yes and you know responsible dads by the way yeah man uh -huh. yeah and, and i remember getting a call from uh from one of from the mother uh -huh. about one one scenario that happened and, and uh -huh. she was not very pleased because of content uh -huh. you know the content that the little kids are watching uh -huh. so it's a great very clear indication that you know the peer-to-peer -peer influence is very strong mm -hmm. and if you don't inculcate stronger than yes the parents stronger than even god uh -huh. you understand what your friends will make you yes do. yes you know and they tell you stuff and you go and start googling stuff uh -huh. from that age my daughter uh -huh. is six uh -huh. And I remember even receiving an, an, an email that was sent out to all parents in that mm -hmm. school about content. Mm -hmm. Like the teachers are picking up that the kids who have like mobile phones mm -hmm. are watching inappropriate content. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and it's really scary for Pine, mm -hmm. especially in today's age. You know what is online. I my know brother. what is online. You know what it's is on as WhatsApp. It's easy as going on Instagram. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as easy as going and on Twitter. Free. And it's free. Because there's Wi Fi in the uh -huh. crib. Uh -huh. she, my daughter has a phone. Because uh -huh. there are only a number of sites you can block. But also, these are the and, sites. And, and, and major feature. Now, Kijua, if we know how to block and unblock, you think a, a, a kid of today can't <laughs> unblock? You just decide how do you unblock a site on, on Google and you, it shows you and you do it. You do it. Yes. Everything is on Google. Every problem every and every thing. solution. Yes. So the secret is in conversation. Conversation. Having these conversations yeah. with the kids. And I must also confess that uh, as a parent, it's also very uncomfortable to have such a conversation with your parent, uh -huh. with, with your daughter uh -huh. or your son. Because you don't perceive that your little one is capable of doing something like this. Mm -hmm. You don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and, and what I would encourage parents, and, and I've been saying this everywhere I go, mm -hmm. is you should perhaps you know, rope in other parties mm -hmm. who, are at, who are better placed to have this very uncomfortable conversations mm -hmm. with your children. Mm -hmm. uh, this could be an uncle, an auntie who's fresh. Mm -hmm. Like, if, uh, it would be easier for me to talk to my nephew uh -huh. than my own daughter. Right. Surprisingly, I don't Please, know why, uh -huh. but... It, 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 it's just the There's order of things. relation, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. And if you're, you know, your, your, your daughter will always see, this is my dad, mm -hmm. and there's some things I can't tell my dad. It's very Or this is my mom. And, yes. Right. But you can tell that uncle, uh -huh. you know, or that Talk auntie. And even other parties like, like us as social influencers, mm -hmm. as, as media personalities, we have that responsibility. And that's mm -hmm. why I've taken it up myself because I can mm -hmm. realize there's a problem. Mm -hmm. And we need to be the bigger brothers, bigger sisters that mm -hmm. we never had. That we never had. And give Keyword. guidance. Even mm -hmm. in business and, and on all other dealings, mm -hmm. we got zero guidance. Mm -hmm. Your previous in initiative was on, on, uh, career. on career and hustle. Yeah. Uh, but hustle we, are, we are going to be talking about that uh, some other time. Yeah. Uh, this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. It falls right in place, but Punguza is the initiative this yeah. time round. You're rocking the merchandise. Yeah. And I'm coming for my... Yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> define Punguza in a, in a nutshell. So Punguza is an initiative mm -hmm. uh, that's all about advocacy and, and sensitization mm -hmm. around responsible sexual behavior. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's to trigger conversations about sex, mm -hmm. let young people open openly converse mm -hmm. without feeling oh my god like this is it's like talking about making bombs mm -hmm. you know like young people <laughs> find it easier uh -huh. to talk about cocaine uh -huh. heroin uh -huh. s smoking blunts uh -huh. corruption corruption uh -huh. soccer uh -huh. but they can't talk about sex when mm -hmm. it's sex it's listen uh -huh. to the room pin drop silence uh -huh. no one no one is talking about uh -huh. it it's always the but, elephant but the everyone room. is having uh -huh. it you know i don't know anyone who's not having sex uh -huh. to be frank uh -huh. and 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 people are having having it irresponsibly because uh -huh. they don't have information uh -huh. or, or the information that the peers are giving each other is false uh -huh. like for example as someone saying you cannot uh, someone a lady cannot get pregnant if she's a virgin uh -huh. that's something i had when i was a, when i was a teenager and <laughs> my boy my boy know. followed through uh -huh. and now he's in sumo mteja because <laughs> right. so, so misinformation, <laughs> misinformation is real. Uh -huh. you t someone tells you like if you have sex on the 16th uh -huh. you can't get pregnant do you uh -huh. know why because that's her safety uh -huh. so this other chick uh -huh. who's been told 16th takes it as the gospel truth uh -huh. so she goes up and has sex and every woman is sex. different yes but we don't know. Uh -huh. People don't know. So unless you come across the right information, mm -hmm. Barry, uh -huh. you'll always make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So here we're advocating for access to the right information. Mm -hmm. Access, Which you're providing. Yes. Uh -huh. Access to, to even health facilities. Mm -hmm. We're encouraging young people to feel free. Uh -huh. To be tested, to get to, tested. To go walk in. It doesn't matter whether you're 12, uh -huh. 18, uh -huh. 21. Walk in. Get your access to, uh -huh. to, to health services. If it's you want right to have a test, for that matter. go have a test. Mm -hmm. It's your right. Mm -hmm. But you, you feel in that age that you, 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 don't, you, you shouldn't mm -hmm. walk uh -huh. into that chemist. Even walking in raises in. that suspicion. Oh, 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 oh. That uh -huh. guy in that white overall just looks at you, unataka nini, uh -huh. and you're in a chemist. Uh -huh. So, either you say, pardon, I will say, I will say, I will say, I will say, So, so, <laughs> so we should make these things yeah. uh, like... We should Not encourage good. these people to mm -hmm. go out there mm -hmm. and be safe. Because if they don't, they'll still have sex, mm -hmm. but irresponsibly. They'll have unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. So we'll see the continuation of STIs, uh -huh. HIV AIDS infections, which are now 33% mm -hmm. amongst youth, uh, uh -huh. the new infections. Did you know there are million uh -huh. STIs uh, detected every day globally? Million? A million detected and documented globally. This is by CNNL. That uh, across the world, there are a million people every day with an STI, a new one. You know what I mean? A like a reinfection, one. yeah, a new STI. Like, see, Leo Jana in Aksumbuwa Leo. Wow. And Mpia. 
first symptom, first onset of illness, leo. <laughs> so we are heading towards a bigger pandemic. Guys are kulana and dry fry, son of my brother. <laughs> and unless you know you... I like your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's be real, man. Uh -huh. Let's be real. Another thing is that, you know, these this contraceptives are expensive. Mm -hmm. Young people say they cannot afford. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't and go... there's so many stereotypes around them. Yes. Uh -huh. Like, I, I remember yesterday, there was a diff, I was at a radio station. So after that, people were commenting on my page, on our page, Punguza. And the, uh, one lady's like, did you know that contraceptives have side effects? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, some do, mm -hmm. but not all. Condoms mm -hmm. do not have side mm -hmm. effects. Unless, people don't unless, consider it Unless you are large to latex. <laughs> <laughs> so people don't consider condoms a contraceptive. No, condom ni utiaji. Even the watu wanaona dunia And this is the reality we're living in, mm. DNG. Yes. All right. In, uh, in this world that you'd like us to live in, picture, paint that picture for me. I think it's, it's, I'd love to live in a world without STDs. Uh -huh. I'd love to live in a world without HIV AIDS. Uh -huh. I'd love to live in a world without unwanted pregnancies, mm -hmm. be it teenage pregnancies or even pregnancies amongst older youth. Mm -hmm. You know, where if you got a baby, it's because you wanted to have a baby, not, mm -hmm. oh my God, S-H-I-T, I I, didn't. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, clean game. That's what I'd like to see. That's what you'd Where like you to enjoy see. your God-given gift mm -hmm. without the negative consequence. All right. Uh, what about the conversations uh, that we have with our parents? What kind of conversations would you like kids to have with their parents in future? I think parents need to be awake, uh -huh. stay woke, uh -huh. um, and, and just know that it's happening, uh -huh. and don't live in a bubble. I remember uh -huh. I posting a video of these kids who had, uh, or teens who had, uh, you know, just come out of, of you know, school. I so saw come, that you saw that video. That was very were, controversial. They, yeah, yeah. Yes. They were dry humping each uh -huh. other on, uh, like in a caboose like this. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, you know, I posted it on my WhatsApp. So the, mm -hmm. the clients I have on my phone book mm -hmm. can access that video. Mm -hmm. So one of my clients, very senior guy, even in government, mm -hmm. he, he sends me a WhatsApp and he's like, oh my God, send me this video. I don't believe it's happening. I'm mm -hmm. like, yes, it is. He's like, I want to share this on my family group. <laughs> you know? And, and the guy is like, because he, he has like older kids who are like maybe 18, 19, 20. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't believe mm -hmm. that they're capable of it. So I'm like, boss. 18, 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told him his yeah, So I told him, uh -huh. my guys stay woke, talk to your kids. Uh, if you need any assistance, ask them to like this page. So I sent him the link uh -huh. and I sent him the video. That's very good marketing <laughs> for the page. I love that. Yeah. So uh, what you were saying is these things are happening. Yeah. And uh, uh, sexual preference is also a matter that is arising and we are burying our heads in the sand. In with fact, this. There's a video you posted, I think, of two ladies proposing yeah. to each other. Yes. These were very young kids. Yes. Uh -huh. And if, if you look at uh, a lot of Instagram pages today, uh -huh. you see how like mine is verified. Uh -huh. Others have the rainbow. You know what it means? Yes, I know what the rainbow means. The rainbow pride the rainbow is, is uh -huh. the LGBTIQ pride. Uh -huh. So I think out of all the people who like my photos follow, uh -huh. I'd say perhaps a rising maybe 40, 50 percent uh -huh. are LGBTIQ. Uh -huh. Either experimental uh -huh. or perhaps they say they've never been attracted to the opposite sex. Uh -huh. And it's real. It's uh -huh. taking place. And I was talking to somebody over the weekend and they were like, what if your child told you they're LGBTIQ? Would you support them? And I'm like, you know what? You cannot make decisions for others. Mm -hmm. It reaches a point, you know, you cannot make a decision for your own child mm -hmm. who you side and you've paid fees for that and is clothed. That's a whole person. That's it's an whole individual. Uh -huh. Even if by government, it's an entity. <laughs> They're counted. <laughs> they exist. They have their birth certificate. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think we just need to be aware and, and, and give guidance to mm -hmm. these people. Um, some of them, you know, have made all sorts of excuses. Like one excuse I found on the, the Punguza page mm -hmm. is, you know, men are trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, and they keep saying that the best thing is to be a lesbian. Mm -hmm. A lot of women say that. Mm -hmm. But do, did they know that also lesbians cheat? Cheat. Yes, they do. It's human nature. Gay people cheat. Mm -hmm. They fight. They, in fact, uh, you know, I have friends who are LGBTIQ. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the drama is even more heightened. Mm -hmm. Yes. When those chicks fight boss, you hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. one one, it's like, it's like aerials, mbili zina interference. You know how there's uh -huh. interference in frequency? Yes, I get you. Nimbaya, where's Kia? Because these are not, 
people are only compatible if there's a negative yeah. and a positive. But if view. they're both ah, positive, in a bus, it becomes in a bus. very difficult. So some people use the excuse of men are trash. Some people have diff some people are just attracted to them. Some, some but this is a reality we live in. A scientific gene. Uh -huh. You know that gene that you know if you research, they've been arguing that if you find some animals pre predeterminedly, you know. Um, being attracted to each other, uh -huh. they're using it as a scientific basis uh -huh. to justify the gene. I don't, I don't believe it personally. Uh -huh. I read it and I, I didn't see as if it's factual. It's, uh -huh. just, it's just a theory that mm -hmm. was put forward by a scientist. Um, I think, you know, whether you want to be lesbian, gay, or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, be responsible. Uh, who am I? Who am I to tell you what to do with your body? Uh -huh. uh, I cannot uh, commit or comment on that. But be responsible. Mm -hmm. I think even what you're preaching is responsibility. Yeah, even gay people can get HIV. Mm -hmm. Even lesbians Actually, can get STIs. It's, it's the most risky. Yes. Uh, when you, uh, according to the information yeah. I have. You may not get an unwanted pregnancy, uh -huh. but the other consequences exist. They exist, <laughs> and they exist severely. Yeah. Uh, the census that is going on right now, we are having people who, are don't, who don't identify as male, either male or female that are being counted. Do you think this is a step towards the di right direction? Hopefully. I wow. think I think everybody has a right to exist in mm -hmm. their own way. Mm -hmm. Just the same way, you know, as I remember when we were little kids, mm -hmm. we would be asked, what is your religion? Mm -hmm. Others would say Christianity, mm -hmm. uh, Muslim, Hindu. Mm -hmm. Today we have guys saying, I'm an atheist. Mm -hmm. And it exists. Or I'm it's a, a reality. Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh -huh. so the, the world is dynamic and it's changing. It's evolving because of influence from all over the place. Mm -hmm. So if somebody doesn't believe in God, mm -hmm. why should we demonize them? Mm -hmm. If somebody doesn't go to a mosque mm -hmm. and wants Sundays for eating meat, uh -huh. what? Yeah, let, let, let them be. Equal rights. Equal rights. For everyone. Yeah. And it's in the constitution. It's in the constitution. Okay, I know there's a court case <laughs> and the court said, uh -uh. our president said, uh -uh. <laughs> but yo, man, those are people, man. All right. I think, mm -hmm. I, in my opinion, those are people and, you know, I, why should we care? All right. What people do we with their bodies. We can go on and on and on and on about this, Mr. <laughs> DNG. Uh, but uh, today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday, yeah. uh, you morphed into something that uh, maybe your mom didn't imagine you're going to morph into. Yeah, yeah. You have been a, you you've recorded music. You've been a performing artist. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you do it anymore. Uh, you're an MC, the number one hype man, the yeah. go-to guy for uh, for events. Kale. And now you have uh, humanitarian campaigns yeah and there's something you've missed there uh -huh. i've also done media radio tv uh, media radio tv which you're still doing yes mm -hmm. yes and i still also have an agency that uh -huh. does events activations called mm -hmm. 254 entertainment uh -huh. some businessman all right yeah did you see yourself where you are today did you see yourself uh, coming here or things just happen along the way Think, things happen along the way for me mm -hmm. I, I just knew from when i was finishing my form four mm -hmm that I wanted to do music because mm -hmm. I, I, I used to rap in school. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Gwethin Studio mm -hmm. doing holidays, rap. Voice. Yeah, yeah. You always had a voice. Know, uh -huh. uh, there's a funky in our school. I'm performing, catching uh -huh. raising for the Longombas, uh -huh. catching raising for uh, Dukes Vultures. Uh -huh. And that's how I started. Uh -huh. uh, I went to RK Studio, like, you can't rap, get out. <laughs> so after Form 4, you know, uh -huh. I'd written my rhymes and I, uh -huh. I, I, I believed that I, I'd become better. Uh -huh. And I went and uh, I told my mom I want to do music. Uh -huh. She gave me my seed money. Uh -huh. And I paid for the studio time. Uh -huh. And the rest is history. The rest is history. And I, along the way, things just kept happening. And mm -hmm. I, I do believe that if you have an opportunity, mm -hmm. jump in, man. Jump because in. like for me, for music, I realized music wasn't really paying. So I was like, what else do I do? Because uh -huh. I love entertainment. Uh -huh. Am I going to now ask, uh, apply to be an accountant? Uh -huh. no, 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 man. That's not I'm your like, path. That's, yeah, yeah. I have a master's in uh -huh. business, uh -huh. an MB, global executive MBA. Uh -huh. But I don't want to sit in an office. Uh -huh. I want to sit in my to own office. Yeah. Entertainment industry. Thank you. And right. if I'm going to a client's office, uh -huh. it, it's it's within a certain time frame uh -huh. and I bill uh -huh. as a consultant. Uh -huh. So, 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 you know, I went into MCing, it started paying, mm -hmm. that unlocked radio, radio uh -huh. unlocked TV. Uh -huh. uh, along so the, one thing led yes. to another, one thing led I, to another. I'm doing events, there's a client who's like, have you ever thought of being, an, uh, running an agency? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? No. And, and she told me, like, we're looking for somebody to be our agency. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I want, I want to do it. What services <laughs> do you I didn't know. I can provide KRA, uh -huh. uh, I got a guy uh -huh. who knew a guy. It's your machine in any. It's not only a happy. It's not going to be a shika. It's not going to be a shika. What have you learned Account out of all of this experience, Mr. Dean? Be daring. Be daring. Be daring. Mm -hmm. And anything your mind, you know, conceives or perceives, you mm -hmm. can achieve. 
So go for gold. It ya do. Judo inapatikana ile kwa nasikia msanii akisema pesa pesa. It is a pesa. Talk talk to Pizzo. In fact I have his number I can connect the guy straight. The still ya. Yeah yeah. Amwambie nataka 2 Gs, 3 Gs. I don't know how much he's selling this painting. Yeah man. If you're releasing the next single I can do your album. Yeah album cover nini. So go out there and find it. Yeah, like right now, I want to achieve my dream. And part of my dream is social impact. Because mm -hmm. I can't just be making money, making money, making money. Then what? Mm -hmm. There's always a question, like, mm -hmm. as you go up the Maslow's pyramid, mm -hmm. there's self-actualization at the top. And, and uh, self-actualization mm -hmm. begs the question, you know, what will my legacy be? Mm -hmm. So beyond, yes, I did music, I won a Kora, I was in any, and I made a for my show, uh -huh. India, Nigeria, you, South Africa, Rwanda, name it. The greatest. Beyond that, mm -hmm. I want to also have made a, a difference from policy mm -hmm. to actual development for my generation mm -hmm. regarding two very uh, specific pillars, youth mm -hmm. unemployment and poverty mm -hmm. and uh, responsible sexual behavior, health mm -hmm. and rights. Mm -hmm. And those are things that I'm, I've committed to for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Legacy projects. Legacy. It's infinite. Uh -huh. And right now I'm just mobilizing support mm -hmm. from stakeholders. I've met government officials mm -hmm. within parliament, within the Senate, um, county governments as well, mm -hmm. because health is a devolved function. Mm -hmm. All tick, tick, tick. I'm also talking to stakeholders like donors mm -hmm. for funding and financial mm -hmm. support. You know, other partners willing to give services pro bono. Mm -hmm. Like now we did our first event with Get the Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in co collaboration with an organization called Youth Youth Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And in those events, and in that particular event as a pilot, mm -hmm. there was free access to health facilities mm -hmm. like contraceptives, condoms, mm -hmm. free testing of HIV, mm -hmm. even cancer screening, mm -hmm. counseling, mm -hmm. access to material that's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. fresh and mm -hmm. you can take home with you and read um, and peer-to-peer -peer -peer education uh -huh. yes and also entertainment uh -huh. entertainment so, so always uh, lazima lazima kwe lazima tuchangamuke hata <laughs> kama tunaongea kitu serious kama the source to the to the uh, chibok ndio tunavuta watu nayo uh -huh. the harnessing the power of music and entertainment harnessing the power of music and entertainment and yeah. this is the message you preach in your other initiative which is hustle yako yes and uh, it's still ongoing yes uh, even punguza will be uh, till till death do you inshallah. part with it inshallah inshallah no. all right so uh hustle yako uh, what are some of the things people can get at hustle yako since this is entrepreneurship tuesday uh, very interesting but um mm -hmm. you know first they can like our page mm -hmm. hustle Tell them. hustle, so you hustle yako on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like mm -hmm. the page, follow, engage in the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done several projects. We've done a live in concert where we'd empower DJs, artists, mm -hmm. models to come and showcase their skills. Mm -hmm. We used to do Facebook Live, Instagram Live, giving you a platform because mm -hmm. a lot of people, the struggle is, as he said, your mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. So what will you do to promote art? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't see it necessary to promote others. Mm -hmm. But fungulia <laughs> watu Fungulia watu you know, where's the cool lake to pick your cock on any nanny? And you've learned, mm. you've learned this through through yeah. because also I was, you know, doors were open for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling you, share platform. You can be a security guard. The first uh -huh. time I came to this company uh -huh. was uh, 2003 Metro FM. Uh -huh. Do you remember Metro I FM? I remember Metro it was FM. on 101.9. Mm -hmm. Kileta CD, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, na sai bad on Econ. I'm driving in that uh -huh. time. Nilikuwa na frizzy wa for inje. Uh -huh. <laughs> and right life now changes. You can, life changes. Life and right changes. now you can come and uh treat you in uh, all that importance. At us just uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's privilege over time mm -hmm. and uh you know open doors for others and do unto others. So well, you know, this year we've given out DJ scholarships. Mm -hmm. The previous year we also gave even like uh, hair dryers mm -hmm. to salons. Mm -hmm. One of our partners is like he's imported clippers. This is a kunyo uh -huh. So he wants to give out a few. Uh -huh. We will do that promotion after we're done with this Punguza Media Tour. Uh -huh. Uh, we'll do the second cycle of the, the DJ scholarships, mm -hmm. free of charge. Free Imagine of somebody time. teaching you to be a DJ uh -huh. for free. And you've always wanted to be Yes. One. The simple thing they need to do is like your page. Plug in and ungoje, ungoje rada, ungoje riengze. So that you, uneza pule kwa na riengze, you can get this and that. Mm. All right, as we wrap this up, Mr. Mr. DNG, we uh, posted a question on our Facebook page. And this question is simple. Since you're preaching responsible sexual behavior, do you think, and I hope you're listening as well so you can head straight to our Facebook and answer. Do you think uh, being in a relationship <laughs> contributes to your financial stability? Mm. I, 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 I'd argue pro and con, may I? Uh, yes, yes, 
Sure thing. The pro of mm -hmm. being in a relationship, yes, mm -hmm. is that uh, you, you, have, you have less time to tanga tanga, <laughs> and every tanga tanga <laughs> is an expense. Uh -huh. If you're uh -huh. having dates Monday to Sunday, uh -huh. you're spending, even if you're Yours. spending 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, yeah, that's 7,000. Even 7, if 000. it's 500, even if it's 500, you're spending. Uh -huh. All right? So if you have one chick, uh -huh. It also gives you a bit of discipline, actually. Uh -huh. You know, having family uh, keeps you grounded. Uh -huh. You always come back to center, uh -huh. even if you stray a little bit. Even the greatest men that have, that have lived yeah. had wives. Had wives, uh -huh. and even those who didn't have wives and separated uh -huh. had children. Uh -huh. So the, your family keeps you rooted, keeps uh -huh. you centered, keeps you focused. Uh -huh. um, the flip side is that you can also have a, a partner, a wife uh -huh. or husband, who's uh -huh. uh, an extravagant person and who's a wasteful <laughs> person. So I want to go massage, I want to go uh -huh. shopping. If you have somebody like that in your life, or pig ex, Nimekwambia wapige ex hao ya mtu akusaidii uh -huh. kama mtu akusaidii kujenga uh -huh. ama kuweka akiba uh -huh. ni mtu ena gani that is not the right person for uh, you. you thank you very much for the insight mr dng and answering that question in two parts you're the only person who was because you're in two parts right, yeah? so remind them your social media handles your personal uh -huh. uh, the, the initiative ones and then your last remarks to them uh, dng kenya mm -hmm. follow like uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, DNG Kenya. Uh, for Punguza, it's mm -hmm. Punguza KE. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Punguza KE, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, support. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Hasso Yako, it's mm -hmm. Hasso Yako. Rice is on a hustle, mm -hmm. is H U S T L E. Mm -hmm. All right. To all the hustlers out there, you had it straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, Mr. DNG is in studio, uh, gracing Entrepreneurship Tuesday. He has a very powerful initiative. Head straight to their Facebook pages, their Instagrams, and their Twitters to get more of the information. Alex is coming up next with another interview. You don't want to miss it. Don't touch that out.